Hello. In this video, we'll be going over how to combine PDFs and some uh, page manipulation. So to get us started, I'll go ahead and open up uh, PDF Exchange. And the easiest way I find to uh, combine PDFs is to create a new PDF. If you go to File and then over to New Document, you'll see a couple of options here. One of them is the Combine into Single PDFs. You can also create your uh, portfolios from here as well. We'll click on that. And then what you want to do is hit Add Files. And if you have this, uh, all the files that you want to combine into a PDF under the same um, folder, you can uh, click on it and then hold down your Control key and then click on the other one that you want to add in there or the multiples that you want to add. Once uh, you have the ones highlighted that you want to add into a PDF, just click on Open. And here, maybe you want to change the order. You can select and then hit your up arrow or down arrow for however you want the pages to appear. Once you're happy with that, you can click OK. If you did have a PDF in maybe a different location, you could just go back to Add Files and then select the uh, PDF you wanted and just continue to, to load those all up. Once you're good with it, click OK, and it'll add all those together. Whenever I'm combining PDFs, uh, I like to take advantage of one of the optional views on the uh, bottom right here under Options. I can click there, and then I want to select the Thumbnails option. The shortcut for that is Control-T, and it'll open up a preview of the pages in, in uh, the way they have them laid out. You'll see a little uh, orange highlighted rectangle there for like where on the page you are as you scroll. You can see that move. So if I'm happy with this, I could just save it, but maybe I didn't want this page, uh, number two. I can right click there and just delete the page altogether. Move that out of there. I can select these cogs here if I wanted to maybe insert a page. So we can hit insert. And let's do this guy here. And then you have a whole lot of options uh, for whenever you're copying or inserting in a page. Uh, one of the uh, items is if it maybe had comments or form fields, you can choose to uh, not copy those. And then uh, you can actually select a page range for that document. If it was a multiple page document and you only wanted page uh, one, you could uh, just do uh, custom there and just do one of one. Um, I'll just select all for my purposes. And then lastly, uh, it'll ask uh, the destination for where you want to insert it. So if I wanted to do it uh, maybe uh, before the current page, I can leave it as is, or I could do it after the first, which is going to put it in the same location. But I'll click OK, and then it'll uh, insert it there. I can also drag these pages around if I just kind of want to move them around uh, manually. To do any other uh, page manipulation, all of that is going to be under the Organize menu. So if I wanted to maybe like rotate a page, I could rotate this 90 degrees and click OK and do that. Or maybe I want to rotate it back do it counterclockwise. Sometimes when you're working with PDFs, you might have some in a landscape format that don't work with the document that you're utilizing. But those are the basics of manipulating your pages. You can see here uh, there's all kinds of different options you can do to uh, duplicate, replace, resize, uh, add in a background if you like, uh, add in a header and footer. But if you have any questions on any of that, please feel, feel free to give us a call. You can reach out at 210-798. 0889 option 1. You can send an email to service at getsecuretech.com or you can send us a text message to 830-742-0770. Thank you.